Here we are, Tuesday the 9th of November, and I stand here and look out at this most beautiful view of Mexico City, and I'm a bit sad to be going. I've spent a week here, and I've met some of the most beautiful people. I've had one phone stolen, and I've lost a pair of very expensive glasses. They're the two negatives. Everything else has been positive. Great race, and now it's uh, heading off to Sao Paulo. Now, this is an interesting one because I hear lots of stories about security, and we've been given some very definite instructions, as all of the people with F1 have been given. Things like, when we go to the track, we're not to wear our uh, lanyard around our neck. We're not to be identified in any way as Formula One. Normally, we have to stick our parking pass for the media park on the car window, but we don't at the next race. We can just show it because it's deemed too dangerous not to walk around with expensive watches on, keep our phones in our pocket, and really, I'm there for four nights, so it's gonna be a whirlwind trip. It's about an 11 hour flight to get there, and then four nights, full days, and then a very long 15 hour flight back to Dubai. It is hard to believe that I'm gonna fit all of this stuff into two suit, or well, one suitcase, and a carry-on camera bag and this little blue Samsonite zip-up bag. I'm sitting here waiting for my driver to take me out to the airport and it's just occurred to me, coming into Mexico, I decided not to change any cash into local currency. So I have had no Mexican pesos in my pocket for the near week that I've been here and I've not needed it. I've not had one single, oh, I did today, where they asked for cash because they didn't take card, but they accepted five US dollars I had in my pocket. So it's becoming more and more the norm that cash is not required when you travel. And for my last meal here in Mexico, I thought I'd try this little small taco place. God knows what I'm gonna get. I used Google Translate and I asked for a beef taco with no cilantro, which I hate, and uh, not spicy. Oh, and I've got a Coke, and Mexican Coke is supposed to be different tasting than Coke anywhere else, because I'm told they use sugar cane in here. Well, that was very good. That was a lot better than the taco that I supposedly had on the first night here. But peculiarly, they've wrapped the plate in a plastic bag. Now, I guess that's because they can then throw the plastic bag away and then use the plate again without having to wash it. First time I've seen that. I wish I had a local here with me to help me through the ordering process, but we got there in the end with Google Translate. Today I'm flying LATAM, and I think it's a 121 in business class, which is better than the 222. Gives you a little bit more room. And I've flown them before, and I like the airline. They're a good airline. And with that said, here are my two friends. <laughs> Hi. And this brings to the end my stay here at the lovely Hyatt Regency in uh, Polanco. Now it's off with this gentleman for about a 40 minute trip to the airport, unless the traffic's atrocious, in which case it could be an hour and a half. This is an interesting scenario. The traffic's all backed up here, and this is the road into the airport, and they're making us stop and get out of our cars here, and then get into a secondary bus to go to the airport because of some sort of, I don't know what. Funny old situation in here. Lots of bags and people squashed, and we've got a 600 meter trip to the airport. Latam. La Latam? Latam. Yeah. Looks like there's some sort of demonstration here. And they've got the whole airport section closed off. It's so worth we have to stop back cent. here because it's and uh, then walk up here. It's bizarre. Travelling with all this luggage. I wonder what would happen in that instance if, say, like a Lewis Hamilton rolled up at the airport and could only get to that point without having to take a minibus with other mortals. That would be an interesting scenario. Well, there's quite a few of us waiting to get on this train from Terminal 1 to 2. 2 is the newer of the two terminals, but even then it's 13 years old, maybe 14. And there's quite an interval between trains. Just been told my flight's cancelled to Brazil. God knows what's going to happen now. There's one going tonight at 7.20, that's Aero Mexico. I wonder if I can get on that. Well, very lucky, I've managed to get a flight. It's 2,562 US dollars, and I'll get probably 2K back from the other airlines, so it's an extra 560 penalty. But at least I get there today, because I want to shoot something tomorrow, Pierre Gasly going out to the Ayrton Center Foundation, and I really want to be involved in it. What I thought was a solution is not a solution. In fact, that was an economy seat for that money. And that's a right royal ripoff, and very uncomfortable. So Here's the latest. They're uh, getting the plane that was cancelled this morning to arrive tomorrow. It takes off at 6.30 p.m. 
originally was supposed to take off at 4.20, so it's a day and two hours later, and uh, I'm on it, luckily. Gets in a little bit later into Sao Paulo. I'll have to head straight to the track, and they're hopefully picking up the tab for a hotel here at the airport for tonight. Not the worst, but just disappointing. Well, this is goodbye to the NH Collection Hotel. Nice room, shit air conditioning, and now it's time to head back downstairs to the Mexico City Airport for the second time in two days. So LATAM cancelled their flight yesterday afternoon because of weather, and today's flight's going a day and a bit later. Luckily I'm on. What do I need to get on? Uh, we needed a, a form, a, like a passenger locator form. Took about four minutes to fill out. They give you a boarding pass and they send you upstairs. Well, so far so good. We're through to the lounge and the flight appears to be on time. And I have a, a commitment tomorrow at the track. That means I have to be there by four o'clock to shoot some stuff. I think I'll be fine. I've got a driver meeting me at the airport, taking me to the track and then taking my luggage back to the hotel. So there's plenty to drink, but there's no food laid out. You scan the barcode and they'll bring it to you. And it's stuff like this little roll with a bit of ham and cheese. Mexico is a funny place because coming into the country you have to go through immigration. And it can be a, a process that takes 30 to 60 minutes. But when you leave the country, there are no checks. You hand your piece of paper to the airline staff member when she checks you in, and that's it. Get on the plane and go. No stamp in the passport, nothing. Hello. 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 Well, we're on, on board here on this LATAM flight, which is a, a wide body jet, it's 222 in business, and there would be uh, 20 people in business and 12 maybe in economy. First time I've ever found economy with fewer people than in business. But it's a nice seat, it's not their best aircraft, but yeah, beggars can't be choosers, lucky to get anything. We've been going about 30 minutes and I've made my bed, so I've got two seats here. This is row five, I've got A and B. I've got two mattresses and four quilts and I've packed them up so it's like almost a cloud. And then I've grabbed one of their pillows and my memory foam pillow. So I think I'm probably gonna have a good number of hours sleep and uh, maybe a tamazepam might help me nod off. But before that, we're gonna have a bite to eat. And I've ordered the lamb and then there's another meal later on in the flight, but I've told them if I'm sleeping, please don't wake me. Well, that was a good meal. It was lamb, which was a bit chewy, but tasty, and the vegetables were welcomed, and there was an ice cream afterwards, and I earlier on asked if they had any chocolates, and they said no. But look, one of the uh, cabin crew found one back in economy, and uh, that shortly will be in my stomach. was super quick and super efficient through immigration and now I'm at the baggage carousel awaiting my luggage and then a trip out to the track to get started on day one. Are you for Kim Hi. Ullman? Good morning. Yeah. What a joy it is. I can take this off. What a joy it is when you book a driver and they're actually there at the exit. The last, where was I? Mexico. I got out there. No driver. Finally at the hotel after a pretty wet and soggy day at the track. And I'm very keen to uh, get out of these clothes and have something to eat. There's already uh, some girls out the front there waiting for the drivers. Not a lot, maybe 30 I'd say. All well behaved and um, not sure yet which drivers are staying here but we'll find out soon enough. Well I'm finally into my room and uh, it's a nice size, very comfortable. It's got a great desk to work at. But at this moment I have to say please like this video. That's all I ask, like and subscribe. Those two things. The rest of it, you can do what you want because I now have to go and get something. Thanks for watching and, and stay, stay passionate. passionate.